is how to look like a Google Hangout rock star. So just a few simple things that you can do to look amazing when you're live with us. So let me give you a few pointers and then what we'll do is we'll look around YouTube at a few other Hangouts and you'll be able to see what everybody else is doing wrong. So first of all, use lower third graphics like on air app. You can see how just amazing it makes you look and just incredibly professional. Two is have your webcam eye level. This is really important. And the reason it's why important is it just makes it look like we're having a conversation. See, a lot of people will have their camera much lower and so they'll be looking down at the camera some will have it higher so they'll be looking up so you want to have it directly at eye level so when you're looking at the camera it looks like you're having a conversation with the audience and that'll be incredibly helpful when it comes to really communicating and and really having engaging with people that are watching now my next advice is to you is do not wear a headset or a mic that people can really see because it just looks incredibly unprofessional don't look like you're an air traffic controller uh, when you're on a Google Hangout. So if you've got one of those big sets, just throw it away. And the worst case scenario, sometimes when there are multiple people on a Hangout and it comes through your speakers, you'll get that reverb or that echo. So the way to do that is simply just use an earbud. Now the best way to use an earbud to make it look kind of cool and, and out of sight, and let me show you this right here. So here's an earbud, very small, you know, we put them in our MP3 players and everything, but simply what you want to do is you want to plug it um, into your uh, laptop or your desktop whatever you're using so plug it in and what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually put it behind you so if you throw put it behind you and you can put it over your ear and just see if you can see it here so now you're simply going to put it right in here and then kind of see how it fits in there but it's behind me so when I'm talking you can't see it whatsoever so you can see there uh, that's um, how you would hide an earbud so that you can talk and you can have a conversation so keep it eye level uh, don't have a big headset on <laughs> and then the next point is don't have any distractions behind you now you notice um, when I'm actually talking here uh, there are no distractions behind me because I've got a black wall behind me or simply what you want to do is get your laptop or your camera up against a white wall behind you. You can do this very easily by just adjusting maybe some room in the house that you're going to be using uh, to do this. But what you don't want to do is you don't have really anything behind you because anything behind you actually gives some type of distraction. Um, it can actually add a different um, suggestive tone to who you are and, and what you're doing as opposed to just something that's completely plain or black so my suggestion is always have a white background or a black background behind you any type of wall will do and uh, as you see we'll look at a couple hangouts uh, how people just really um, make themselves not look very good when they they're at a kitchen table or they're in their bedroom or they're even in their living room or they're even in their office but they got all kinds of mess everywhere and they think that's normal and maybe to their business that's normal but for somebody watching the hangout it's just not professional looking so it's much better to have absolutely nothing in the background either black or a simply white wall behind you uh, to really look good now the next thing you want to make sure that you do is simply to light your face with a small light now you can use really any type of light that you have in your house or your office but just make sure that you put a little light uh -huh, on the front of your face and make sure that you turn on the lights inside the room as well it'll help light that up. Now me, I literally have no lights on in my office right now. I just simply have a small light in front of me and you can go to any office store, uh, office supply store and just get a small light and just put it on your desk and shine it in front of you because a lot of times that light comes from top down and not forward and the more light that you put on the face, the clearer, the more engaging you're actually going to be. So just always try to do your best to get as much light in front of you as possible. And literally um, a lot of um, monitors throw off a good amount of light too. So that could actually light it up. So, But if you want to, my suggestion is, is just go to the office supply store, get yourself a small little light and just put it on your desktop just during the hangout. It'll definitely help and you'll see a difference. Now the last tip I want to share with you 
is the ability to look in the camera when you talk. <laughs> Very important. Now, just let me uh, put it back to my screen so you can see. Um, now, this is typically what most people do. They look at their camera uh, and they watch themselves or they'll watch the organizer ask them questions or their monitor will be over in this direction and the whole time they're looking over here. It's just not very engaging at all. So you want to make sure, now if you're going to look at something, um, that's okay if you're not talking. But if you're going to be looking while you're talking, you want to make sure you look at the camera. So you can see the difference between if I'm talking to you looking down or if I'm looking directly in the camera saying how much I really enjoy uh, doing a Google Hangout. So you can see the difference, the engagement of having a conversation directly into the camera itself. So it just takes a little practice. Um, now if you want to, um, when I first started, uh, you can put a sticky note and just put look into the camera when you talk. And then every time you see that sticky note, it'll remind you that instead of looking down the whole time, look directly into the camera. So let's uh, do a quick review of all the tips. First of all, use lower third graphics. Make sure you have a webcam that's eye level. Obviously it makes it easier for the last point to look and talk into the camera when you talk so that it's eye level and it looks like you're having a conversation. Don't wear a big headset. Uh, don't have any distractions behind you. Center your body in the video and then light your face with a small light. So what I want to do right now is actually go directly to YouTube and I picked out a couple different hangouts for you to take a look at and you tell me what they're doing wrong. So you can see here um, this gentleman's using a lower third. But right off the bat, what what's wrong? What do you see? And let me just play a quick clip for you. In a movie. I mean that's really all all it comes down to. And we've obviously had the little side treat. Okay. So what do you see there? Let me point the first thing out. Great job of using a lower third. You know, him being an air traffic controller, not so impressed with it. Also, you can see that the camera is an eye level. So we're looking up at his ceiling. Um, so we, he's also got some things in the background. What do you see? You see he's got um, a picture of uh, Pulp Fiction, it looks like. And so we're already making uh, assumptions about who he is and what he does based on his background um, in the, uh, in the, in the uh, image here. So if we actually go scroll a little bit down the line here and see if we get somebody else. Here we go. Let's look at um, the fans wanted it. If I created a Kickstarter. Okay, now, so you can see Mark using a lower third and you can see Mark's got a little bit of light on his face because of the screen showing. But what's wrong with, what's going on here? He doesn't have a headset. He's looking directly at the camera, so good job, Mark. But what's the first assumption you're thinking in your head? He's in bed, right? Now, it might not be bed, who knows? It might be the back of uh, some big uh, chair that's behind him, but more likely he's in bed. So we're making assumptions based on the fact that he's got something behind him. So let's scroll a little bit more, see if there's anybody else we can find in here. Oh, there we go. The copycat has arisen. <laughs> There we go. Bring yourself we... so that people want to kind of follow you and what you're doing also. Right. Tied in with your podcast. It goes with Aaron, what he's saying about, you know, not just being a gaming person, talking about your family and stuff. People want to see. Okay, now do you see that? She actually looked at the camera. So she's got some light on her face. Again, she's in her apartment or her home or whatever that is. You can see here we're already making assumptions based on the fact that she's not in a plain background. Now, it looks like it take, the, goes to. Pictures of you doing fun stuff with your kids like in the game and oh look and she's actually got her sister or daughter in the back here so you know a lot of things can happen behind you you have no idea what's happening so let me see if we can pick out which is ridiculous because I mean everyone every time I've gone a couple people have known me but um, for some reason put okay so um, so you can see instantly that the if you just follow these tips she's doing some great things she's looking at the the uh, camera every once in a while She's um, really well framed, uh, as opposed to Mark wasn't very well framed in bed there. So let me do this. Let me do a quick search and let's take a look um, at some more. Okay, so what I found here is actually a leverage marketing hangout. So these guys are supposedly experts in hangout marketing. So what I want to do is just play a quick that I'm showing clip them, for you, which is great. You know, the more that list starts to build, the more people you have in that, the more power you have to get. 
Okay, so first of all, what are you seeing wrong with what he's doing? His camera's not eye level. He's not looking directly at the camera. And the good thing is he's got a wall behind him that's not very distracting at all. But because it's not eye level and because he's looking down, it kind of is distracting. So I want to do a scroll through and see if we can't get someone else on camera here. See, so maybe he gives someone else a chance to talk. Um, boy, he's a talker, huh? Oh, he got his wife in there. Uh, trying, there we go. Let's see. Guys like Nick Strazeus, who. There we go. So, Nick, okay, so we got Nick in there for a second. Guys like Nick, and uh, I don't even know if I uh, can't get Nick back, it looks like. But you saw Nick's got the big old head headphones, right? So th there's Nick there. He's got the headphones. And what's this guy doing over here? Look at his big head, right? So you can see here, even guys that claim to be experts in Google Hangouts, still, they don't get that they're live on camera, really um, making it happen and, and engaging. So this is the image and the perceptions that we're going to be giving if we don't really take these simple little things into account. So these are very simple things that we all can do to do a really amazing and effective hangout. So I hope you enjoyed the training. We're excited about doing our hangout with you. Um, our team is incredibly uh, detailed and we just want to make sure we created a video to help you out. So if you want to, please take the time to rewatch the video in this training and then step by step go through, set up your Google Plus account if you need to, go back and start a Google Hangout, install the app and just play around with it. So in the next day or so, when we're getting ready to contact you for a Google Hangout, you're ready to look like a rock star and we're going to bring some amazing content with you. So we're incredibly excited. Thanks for taking the time and we look forward to seeing you in the next Hangout. Bye-bye.